Hey, buddy. Oh, you're a big boy. A whole bag full of crawfish. Here we go. Crawfish, <laughs> crawfish are littered throughout this All the place. crawfish going in. Look at all this merch. Gary the Goose merch. SPF long sleeve signature. Work hard, stay strong in both blue, and I'm wearing the gray right now. A fan favorite right here, top seller, PC Axolotl, one of my favorites too. Build your passion, Polkaboa brand LLC, a nice just white tee. Turtle stack, this one is super, super nice. Love that design and color. So many pieces of merch. We got boots right here. We got the tarpon fishing shirt for all my fishermen out there. Shout out to some of our new orders, James Lavelle, Aiden Hall, John Roman, Sarah Godin, Eric Lundell, Mark Davidenko, Veronica McVictor, Shauna McDonald, Cody Cottam, Jennifer Aranigo. So many orders, guys. I appreciate you so much, thank you. I love that y'all are loving the merch just as much as me. I put a lot of work and effort into these designs and we just released a brand new piece it is beautiful more to come as well go check out the site paulkfarbrand.com top link in the description guess what time it is now though Woo -wee! look at that Kafaros. check it out what is going on welcome back to another video today we are stocking one of my ponds with a bunch of crawfish and it's a super super cool video and i can't wait to do that but i did finally get 10 lights installed inside the 1400 gallon fish building. It's finally happened, finally. I have one switch over here, but I could come over here. I'm not gonna show you what's in that tank yet. That's a surprise, subscribe down below. And I could turn this off, boom, and then everything's off. That's how, that's how light switches work, if you didn't know. For real though, this is absolutely beautiful. The perfect lighting too, it's not too much, which is amazing because I was afraid I'd have to mess with the settings on my camera. No, this is literally, this is perfect. There's nothing I would change. Just look at how beautiful it is. And of course, this is a work in progress all over here. This is still trash. I did make a cool water. That's a video to come as well. Gosh, I have videos lined up, baby. Let's go. Hey, Bubba. What are you doing in the water bowl, huh? It's a hot day. I don't blame you. All right. You ready, everyone? <laughs> Go, Bubba, go. Lady May, we got Mango. Mango, where is he, sleeping over there? Where's your brother? Oh, there he is. Hey, bud, looks like your scab on your forehead is finally healing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Ah, stay away from me, don't bite. Mango had a little cut on his forehead here and it's finally scabbing. King, Boots, and little baby. And then of course, here's the other three coming. They're just eating hay over there. Oscar, Emmy, and Mama Goat. And now we're in the enclosure with the two new pigs. We have the massive Coon Coon over here. Oh, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. And then we have obviously this boar hog that I also rescued right here. This is the nicest pig literally ever. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna leave now. No. And of course, the duck pond. All the ducks are in the bushes, in the shade. Literally all of them. Gary! I have some new friends for you coming today. He's really just not afraid of anyone. Gary is ready for any opponent to step foot in that enclosure, I tell you what. I did want to update you on the shark. Of course, we hatched a shark on the channel a couple weeks ago, and it's time to give you a quick update. And then from there, we're gonna go snorkeling for a little bit, which will then lead us over to stock in the pond with crayfish. Let's go. Hey, buddy. You're still being a pain in my rear end, but I'll get you one day. I did get a text message from Jed from Top Shelf, and he said one time he had one shark that hatched and took six weeks to eat. So you just really never know. Just gotta keep attempting to feed them every single day until they eat. I've tried all sorts of food too. I've tried everything. Mysis shrimp, clams, silver sides. I mean, you name it, I've tried to feed him. He just doesn't wanna eat yet. Might even have some yolk still that's on the inside and he's just feeding off of that slowly. <laughs> I don't know, but just wanted to update you guys on the shark. There's a real mantis right there. A real mantis shrimp. Could do some damage to even your human flesh. When I have it home, the peacock mantis shrimp is still a baby, so it doesn't do much damage, but it still has enough power to even kill a crab at that size. Dude, it's like an Easter egg hunt right now. Like straight up, look at this. There's eggs all over the place. I don't even think these Pekin ducks notice that they drop them because they also step on them like this one. There's another egg right here that's cracked. I literally walked around the pond once and have six eggs. Look how many are up in here. 
This is the duck house. And if you look all the way over here, I'm just gonna put these other six with this. these. It looks like one of the females are actually sitting on these. So we'll stick all these with them. 99% of the time, these Pekin ducks do not hatch, but it's always worth a try, I guess, right? If we ever have ducklings, we'll set up a little thing so they don't get eaten by anything. Mama's got a little bed right here. Check it out, Kaferos. We're here at the duck pond. Just fed Gary and his crew, but they didn't want to eat because we walked up with something they'd never seen before. And that is crawfish. Could you believe it? I bought a bunch of crawfish, to be quite honest with you. I actually had bought five pounds, but when they arrived, two and a half pounds were not so good. They went somewhere else, and I, I just don't know where that somewhere else is. You know what I'm saying? I didn't actually eat them. I bought two and a half pounds of crawfish right here. I can't wait to put these things in. Look at that. A whole bag full of crawfish. Big old things. That right there is a crawfish. Don't pinch me, please. We got about, I would say like 50 of them. I'll dump them out into here. Here we go. Crawfish. Dang. There's a lot more than I thought. Ha! Ah, how much did you stick your hand right here? How much, Logan? I'll do it right now. You'll do it? That one, you just gotta put your hand in. They're nice, dude. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice. He's actually petting them, okay. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be a little bit more action there. Maybe Logan get bit, but let me tell you what. These are some big old crawfish. I'm not sure exactly if these things will survive, but guess what? If I didn't buy them, they would be on your dinner plate. Maybe not yours, but they would be somewhere else's dinner plate. That's a fact. You? Yeah, Logan. Yeah, Logan would eat them. These are actually the ones that you do eat, so I'm giving these guys a second chance at life. They come with ice packs. Don't know if that means you need to keep something cold, but looks like they're in the Florida sun now. Look at how cool they are. I mean, that's a full bucket. A crawfish, about two pounds. They're so cool looking. I love how they open their arms and they're like, I'm gonna bite you. You know, these are all black and red too. It's super cool colors. I'm excited though to put all these guys into the duck pond, hopefully to see them later on. And why I bought them, you may ask, I wanted to just put a bunch of crawfish in the duck pond. And if I ever see them later on, cool. These things get pretty big. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are crazy, man. I'll get this one. Well, no duh, ow. You're letting, letting the crawfish pinch you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh my god! He got you in a good spot that time. Oh That's my! That's a mean god. boy. Why are you such a mean boy? Boop. <laughs> Crawfish are littered throughout this bucket. That's They're just kind of clawing onto each other. They're really cool looking, though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, you pinched it yourself. Look, when you put your hand over, they all just go nuts. Trying Crazy. to find another one. I'll, that I'll... one in the corner, he's pissed. Oh, oh, that one in the corner. Oh, he's oh. swinging, dude. He's literally swinging. So I'm sure there's a mixture between male and females in here, I assume, right? There's a lot of crawfish. And uh, maybe we'll have baby crawfish, too. We really don't know what's going to come out with this. This is more of an experiment. All right, well, I guess there's only one more thing to do, and that is release all our crawfish into this beautiful pond here. It's about to go down. This is the beautiful pond that is low right now because we haven't had much rain. Gary's over there. Gary, don't ever come near one of these things. I'll tell you what, you probably won't like it. You hear me? All right, good, good, good. He said he won't, trust me. All right, here we go. All the crawfish going in. We'll release some up on land. Look at them walk in. Going to explore their new home. Wow, watch your feet. Huh? Dude, that is so sick. Oh, oh, he just grabbed my toe, dude. Look at them though, they're honestly vibing. Like they're going out to explore their new home. Keep in mind, these crawfish would have been on a dinner plate. So we're low key like doing a good thing. And at the same time, it's super, super cool. Bunch of crawfish in the backyard, like what? This is so cool, dude. Just having a bunch of crawfish in the pond. I think what's even cooler is for a couple weeks from now, if we come out and we see if we can find any. It's like a mission. This guy's walking up on land. Oh, maybe not. Going back in the water, I guess. We had put a lot on this bank just a second ago, and as you can see, there's not much left. They've all made their way out into the water, into the depths of the pond. Super cool, though. Very random idea that I had. $75 in crawfish, just dumped them right in the pond. Name all 75 individually in the comments and you win a prize. No, I'm just kidding. But if you do want to name all 75, have at it. Jerry, Limper, Carl, Charles, Logan, Jonathan, Paul, Logan, Dad, David, Dennis, Oscar, Dennis. I don't know any names. <laughs> Duck eggs and crawfish. What an adventurous afternoon. Finn, what are you doing, bud? Look at him. He's like, what are you looking at? He just literally he just wants the duck food. That's right here. That's why I put this in the inside. Because every time he roams the yard, he pops the lid off. Horses are smart. Chad, what are you doing, bud? Playing with crawfish. He's still over there still playing with the craws. Look how good that fountain looks. Beautiful. Gary, why are you so camera shy? Where are you going? 
Look at the little ducklings. Look at the little ducklings. Where are you going? I was coming to say hi. All right. These are the unfortunate four here. They are not alive. They didn't make transport all the way from... I think uh, either the snapping turtle or one of the red tails or something of that Could sort. Could be really, really cool. Would be really Although cool. we got to freeze these before we feed them. Why is that? Anything that could possibly be on this crawfish, just freeze it before. Kills anything on it, then we take it out a couple hours later. Whoa, bam! La 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 It's gone. I don't know what ate it, but it's gone. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the merch top link in the description, parkfailbrand.com, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!